Adventures of Don Quixote, Chapter 18, Knight and Squire Reunited. Darkness came while Sancho was still a little way from the palace of the Duke and Duchess. He took a path on the side of the main road, intending to spend the night outdoors and start again in the morning. But the donkey walked up to a canyon-like cave and fell in. Frightened at first and then relieved because neither was hurt, Sancho started thinking, how are we ever going to get out of here? He asked himself out loud. Meanwhile, Don Quixote was restless at the palace. He missed his squire, his friend. His life was too soft. That morning, he went for a ride in the countryside. As he rode, he heard a voice coming from deep down in the earth. The voice seemed familiar. Could it be? Who's down there? Who's complaining? He asked. Who could it be but beat up Sancho Panza, said the voice. The unfortunate governor of Barataria Island, formerly the squire of the famous knight Don Quixote de la Mancha. This cannot be, Don Quixote thought. Perhaps Sancho was dead and this was his soul speaking. So he said, if you are a spirit, tell me what you want me to do for you. My profession is to help the needy in this world. I suppose I can also do something for the needy in the outer world. Then, said the voice from below, you are my master, Don Quixote de la Mancha. I recognize your voice. I am Don Quixote, certainly. Tell me who you are. You have me confused. If you are the soul of my dead squire, Sancho Panza, I can have a few masses said for your eternal peace. Wouldn't you know it, Master Knight Don Quixote de la Mancha, I swear I am your squire, Sancho Panza, alive as can be. I left the governorship, I'll tell you why later, and I fell in this cave with my donkey, he'll tell you too. The donkey brayed. Oh, yes, I recognize your donkey's bray. Sancho, wait, I'll go back to the palace. I'll be back soon with help. After the rescue, a happy pair returned to the palace. The duke and duchess were waiting for them. But first things first, Sancho went to the stables to take care of his donkey. Then he returned to the palace and spoke seriously to the duke and duchess. I, your highnesses, went to govern Barataria Island because you are very generous, not because I deserve it. I went there dressed poorly. Dressed poorly I am now. You may want to know if I was a good governor. There are witnesses who can tell you whatever they want. I settled disputes. I resolved doubts. That is, I did my job. While I was governor, I almost died of hunger because the doctor wouldn't let me eat. One night, the enemy came. The citizens are now saying that my bravery brought victory, but they're not truthful. In short, I found out that I cannot carry on my shoulders the obligations and duties of a governor. Yesterday morning, I left the island. It remained exactly as I had found it. Same streets, houses, roofs, everything there was when I got there. That was all. Don Quixote was relieved. His beloved squire had spoken well, and he was safe. I am sorry you left the governorship so soon, the duke said. I can give you another job of less responsibility and more suited to you if you wish. But Sancho said no, he had had enough. The duke and duchess hugged him and ordered that he be treated very nicely and made comfortable.